Let's talk about extracting a crowded mandibular anterior tooth for, in this case, orthodontic purposes. Now, the thing that makes this unique is the tooth was facial verted, meaning it was out of the arch alignment to the facial, facial, and the adjacent teeth had closed the space that that tooth had left, so there wasn't enough room to place forceps to extract the tooth, and we were going to do clear, correct orthodontic treatment. I'll show you the finished case about nine months from now. We're going through ortho currently with clear, correct orthodontic trays. Then we're going to do a full mouth reconstruction on this nice lady. But today we're talking about extracting that very difficult tooth. Now you can see how this tooth is facial verted, and there's very little space right here, not enough space for a forceps. So always, or most of the time when I'm extracting a tooth that doesn't have any periodontal involvement, I try to move it a little bit with an elevator just to get the blood in the periodontal ligament space to loosen it up just a little bit and let that sit, loosen it, let that sit while you go check a hygiene patient and uh, it'll, it'll be easier to extract. Dr. Cosentino taught me that technique when I was in an oral surgery fellowship program before taking my training in complex restorative dentistry. A little elevation just to get the blood flowing in the periodontal ligament space. But I don't want to extract the tooth this way through the buccal bone. If I do, I lose the buccal plate. Always try to extract teeth straight up, vertically, not horizontally, because I want to preserve that buccal bone. Because obviously I could have elevated it to the buckle, but I don't want to do that. So I'm just loosening it just a little bit. But again, I don't have enough space for a forcep to unscrew it. Not a lot of elevation, just little. See, I can't get the forcep on the tooth. So I took a brazilier flame-shaped diamond and cut through that interproximal area so I'm going to have a space here not touching the adjacent tooth, just cutting into this tooth. I'm going to lose the tooth anyway. So I've got a space into which I can place the forceps. See, now I can place the forcep and just very easily unscrew that tooth. How about that? And that's the dental minute.